At 16, it was once the swear word that dared not speak its name. A rarely heard taboo of the English language that children raised north of Milton Keynes mistakenly believed was just Margaret Thatcher's nickname. But in 2016, it exploded into the mainstream lexicon, popping up all over our TVs and even on the news. It became a particularly apt Freudian slip for people trying to talk about Jeremy Hunt. Well, first up after the news, I'm going to be talking to Jeremy Cunt, uh, Hunt, the Culture Secretary, about... <coughs> And the Health Secretary, Jeremy, Cunt, Jeremy Hunt, is also expected to apologise. Circumstances changed. Mr. Cunt, Mr. Hunt had to rapidly... The Health Secretary, Jeremy Cunt, uh, Jeremy Hunt... The Health Secretary, Jeremy Cunt, Hunt, says he's... The Health Secretary, Jeremy Cunt, uh, Hunt, according to the... The Health Secretary, Jeremy Cunt, has said the NHS friend... Uh, and that's given us Jeremy <laughs> Cunt uh, looking after the health service. Jer uh, Jer Jeremy Cunt, the, the <laughs> Hunt... <laughs> This lady, Janie Godley, surely a contender for Time magazine's Person of the Year, made her own Trump is a cunt sign and took it down to the then Republican nominee's stupid Scottish golf course when he paid a visit. Fantastic stuff. And even Katie Price's son Harvey got in on the act. And it's like, Harvey, yeah. if someone says something, something horrible to you, yeah. what, what, what do you think? Say hello. You'd say hello? Yes. Yeah. If someone says something horrible to Harvey, what does Harvey say? Hello, you can. Uh, Harvey. OK, we apologise. We apologise for that. But th this is one of the reasons that we, we wanted to do this live. Yeah, because so he would say cunt and you could get away with it by saying, oh, he's just a kid. Yes, cunt is our word of 2016, pretty much applying to everyone this year, with the exception of people who won stuff at the Pride of Britain Awards, of course. So make sure you teach it to your children, because there are going to be plenty of cunts around in 2017. Panel, who is the biggest cunt of the year, not including me? I think out of those three people, you have Hunt, and then you have Trump and Harvey. That is a house I want to see. Those three just <laughs> living together. <laughs> that is the three show. most dynamic people. Mm. And then you throw them all together. And also, out of that group, I think Harvey is definitely would be the most effective politician. <laughs> yeah. He was yeah. verbal, at least, probably. He, he get his facts right. Let yeah, me ask you this. Articulate. You're all comedians. You challenge society's norms. I, I don't do that. You, 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 you tweak the nipples of taboos. Now cunt is mainstream. What word can we shock people with? Oh, God. It, it, it's hard to say, isn't it? Because so many people have so many needs and interests and feelings. Mm. I mean, I think one thing a comic should do when they start out is write a good rape joke. So maybe the word rape, if you bring it up often enough, it'll lose its power. I Scott, that's a lovely idea. It's a beautiful idea. It's, I think the rape joke's very 2015, though. Oh, I, think really? I think it's been done, mate. We've yeah. done that one. Yeah. A good one, though? A good one. There's some out there. Yeah, <laughs> I've written several. But, <laughs> but Are they any good? Yeah, they're stop pretty good. Piled them. Yeah. <laughs> they were so good, I got raped. <laughs> Great stuff, panel. Lovely. <laughs>